This is going to be a film study look at John Kaminsky, an extremely underrated hybrid defensive lineman for the Detroit Lions. He played a lot more snaps in their Week 2 preseason game than, than I would have guessed. Uh, I'm not sure what their plan is for John Kaminsky, but for my eyes, for how I saw him play last year, uh, once he did get significant snaps, cons- consistent snaps after coming back from a hand injury, I thought he totally changed their defense. I feel like he's a, I think I think he's one of the most three or four most important players to their defense, and he was playing up to the sixth possession in the week two preseason game in a game where there was a lot of starters and some second stringers who really didn't even get on the field. So the plan for the Detroit Lions is is interesting to me. I, you know, I don't know about you, but I would I would love to be in some of these meeting rooms with coaches and hear the rationale for for why certain guys play. Uh, more and why certain guys don't play at all. We're going to look at the fourth possession in detail. We're going to look at three plays from the fourth possession. He really dominated that possession. Isaiah Bugs played a big role too. And then his sack on the sixth possession, which he kind of cleans up a mess that James Houston really started. So this is probably going to be my last Lions video of, of Monday, Tuesday, because the Ravens play Monday night. Just so you know, I'm trying to upload this after recording it Sunday night when the film first came out. That's the way things work. The film comes out. I try to push out the videos as quick as possible and then move on to some more in-depth film studies and label stuff on my database. All right. Fourth and three. Jags fourth possession. Kaminsky is down here to the bottom. Got a cool route combination that's happening down here to the boundary. We'll talk about that in a minute. But Kaminsky is in the middle of his pass rush and realizes, oh, I'm not going to win here necessarily in terms of get a sack, but he's just driving this guy back, gets his arm up to get in the way. You can see Brenton Strange running a China out. Some people call it whip route, China out, whatever. Same concept. It's where the quarterback's targeting. Kaminsky just walks off like he just beat up the toughest guy on the block, uh, which he probably is himself. I'll give you one more angle view of this one. You're going to get um, China out, whip route by, I think it's Brenton Strange, a little um, snag, really a screen, really it's what this is, and then a wheel by the running back. And what they're doing is, they being the Jags, is they're trying to pick this defender. If the quarterback had, you know, a little bit more time to, to reevaluate this, you can see what they're doing is they're forcing the inside linebacker to go under, and this wheel developing by the running back, Hasty, is going to win. I mean, this is a tough cover for the linebacker, being as he got picked screen, you can see he's trying to hold. So... In any case, the quarterback is going for Brenton Strange, and Kaminsky gets his big paw up in the way. Nice to see him playing without a uh, a soft cast this year. End zone angle, same play. You can see the motion coming across. This is a linebacker that's being picked, but there's Kaminsky. That's the guy we're focused on for this video. He's just a badass. He just plays incredibly physical, totally committed to everything he does. He's just super smart. I don't know, you know how many guys there are like I know I'm going to call him Frank Kaminsky at some point this year. I don't know how many guys there are like him on every team, but it doesn't seem like there's 20. All right, so this is the first and 10 from that same possession. So I'm kind of going back in time here. This is going to be a a two-yard run by Tank Bigsby. Watch Kaminsky, uh, the way he deals with this concept. It looks like, and I think 85 is Brenton Strange. It looks like Strange is, is reading him. And instead of just kicking him out outright, Strange decides to veer outside to the edge. So you're going to get right tackle work up to the linebacker. He doesn't do a great job there. Some type of combo here. I'm I'm guessing we get a combo here. I can't remember who gets Barnes, who tries to deal with Barnes. But as 85 comes across, Kaminsky's going to go flat down the line. So 85, if that is Brenton Strange, is going to veer outside reading him. And then Bigsby is going to bounce it outside as well because he's reading the same thing. He's just basically following that block. If Kaminsky was to go upfield drastically in an undisciplined manner, then I believe Brenton Strange would just kick him out and Bigsby would run right underneath. 42 is going to cause some problems here potentially, but look at how athletic this guy is. For I think he's 6'5", 280. I mean, Tank Bigsby decides to cut this back because Frank Kaminsky's running with him. He's not as fast as Tank Bigsby. and He doesn't even get credit for the tackle, but to me, he's the guy who disrupts the whole damn thing extremely important part to their defense. Um, Like I said, I was surprised he was still on the field. Hell, I was surprised he was still on the field on the fourth possession, let alone the sixth. All right, very next play. Excuse me, this is the same play, all 22. Here is uh, Kaminsky, and there is 85, and you're going to see his path. He's going to kind of shoulder fake here to try to draw Kaminsky in or hold Kaminsky in and then veer back out to the outside. And I think he pancakes a uh, Lions DB out there, by the way. Kaminsky running with him. Disrupting the whole damn thing. A couple of DBs are able to squeeze in there on the inside and make the tackle. Okay, this is the second play, the very next play. 
again, running into the boundary. I think this is Isaiah Bugs here is going to cause a whole heck of a lot of problems. Kaminsky also is having a great hand fight with this right tackle. The um, NFL Network announcers did a good job of talking about it. When you get the end zone angle, you'll see it here in a moment. You'll see Kaminsky with his right arm and the, and the tackle with his left arm, both trying to frame each other out. There's no force player to his side, meaning there's no... There's no nickel defender or strong safety sitting outside of him to come up direct and force it. So Kaminsky's got to play on the outside of this. He's got to make sure that nothing gets to his outside shoulder. And he wants to try to condense the gap. So he wants to not get this gap expanded so that the running back can go up in there. Now, look, Isaiah Bugs is a, uh, is a whale of a dude to deal with. Severely underrated. Him and McNeil, severely underrated defensive tackles. But last time, all 22. Check out uh, Barnes. A little different style than Jack Campbell in some ways. Barnes, maybe a little less under control, but he hits this 100 miles an hour downhill right into, I believe, the left guard. He's trying to work up to him, condenses the gap. Bigsby's got to bounce it right to Bugs, And then Kaminsky's holding the edge. End zone angle, same play. Here you are right here. He's going to be dealing with the right tackle. And he wants to hold his gap, but he doesn't want to get expanded. You know, he doesn't want to get expanded. He really wants to condense that gap so that Bigsby has no so that Tank Bigsby has no choice but to try to bounce it, you know, or cut it back. Let that one play through one more time. Then we'll look at his sack. I'm gonna try to do quick videos on players every week uh, for the Lions. To be honest with you, Ravens are are my primary wheelhouse team. But I looked at the schedule for 2023, and the and the Lions Ravens games don't overlap nearly as much as people would think. So I have a tremendous opportunity to watch a lot of the Lions games. I'm talking about probably 10 or 12, and not just do reaction videos like I did for the the Jags Lions preseason game, but also do film study videos once the All 22 comes out. Unique situation here. Um, Kaminsky's putting his hand down late. You'll be able to see it from the All 22. Look at the difference in his heels versus the nose and this other D lineman. When you get the all 22, you'll see it perfectly. But James Houston, the fourth, one of my favorite players is going to come through and, and frame up the right tackle. And then Kaminsky is going to come through and clean it up when the quarterback is forced to kind of step it up. But I'm wondering what Kaminsky's reading here. Cause it's a slow get off. I'm not sure if he's, he's a draw check guy or what, or a screen check. I guess I should say actually not draw check. But he's definitely further back than the rest of the D linemen. And when you get the all 22 in a minute, you can see it. But James Houston, the fourth cool little frame up. If he's able to develop a secondary move along with the speed rush and dip and rip that he's, you know, well known for, for being so low to the ground, but also so explosive and quick, it'll make James Houston, the fourth, a, a real problem to handle, which he is already, not just his nickname. You can see the frame taking the right tackle back in the quarterback's lap. Quarterback steps up, complimentary football on the defensive side. Kaminsky finishes it off. All 22, look at it. Look at the, the D lineman feet and hands. You know, James Houston of Force feet, the interior D lineman's hands, and then I think that's uh, Julian Akwara up there because I see the uh, arm brace, his feet. And then look at Kaminsky. I mean, he's a full half yard back. If he was on the O line, you'd say he's getting ready to pull, right? Dead giveaway. Looks like he's checking something or maybe going to jam the tight end if the tight end went under. In any case, man. Still surprised that dude was playing that late in the game. Hell of a football player. Really fun to watch for me. Very versatile and underrated when it comes to defending on the edge and rushing the passer. Is he going to be a guy that gets 10 or 12 sacks? No, but if you watch enough film of him, man, he just grows on you. And I have, the, I have a feeling that he's probably the same way to that football team. I feel like he's of huge importance to this Lions team defensively. And I may have the wrong conception there, but again, most of my analysis, actually all of it, I should say, is is based on the film. There's some inherent strengths there, you know, because I'm only looking at the film and some weaknesses because I'm not going to take time every week to read articles. I'm not going to take time to to really necessarily listen to the news. I'm gonna, I want my analysis of the play on the field to be organic. And like I said, I recognize our strengths and weaknesses in it, but watching this dude play, man, it looks like the heart and soul of that defense. Appreciate you guys' time. If you think other Lions fans would enjoy this video, look, this film study, look at uh, John Kaminsky, you know, please let me know in the comment section that you enjoyed it, number one. Number two, please consider subscribing if you haven't done so already. And then three, if you really like this video, uh, please consider grabbing a link, sharing it somewhere on social media to help my content get more reach.